Hello my friends, welcome back to the Super Divorce YouTube channel. This is Nicholas Villars here, one half of the synth pop duo Dota Super Divorce. It's day number 21 of the Lego Star Wars Advent Calendar Big Reveal. Oh, day number 21, yes, yes, yes. Quite so, quite so, quite so on day number 21. Yes, yes, we're almost all the way through the advent. We're just uh, several days away from uh, having to put together um, a mystery construction out of all of our leftover PCs that we've gotten as we've gone along here. Where is 21? 21 is right here. Okay, let me go ahead and just pop on in here. We got one person here, one thumbs up. Just going ahead and there we go. Okay, and uh, now let's take it down a bit. Hello, it's my wife. Hello. Close up. What is it this time? What do we have here? Uh, well, it's not a character. That's for sure. Looks like it's, it's going to be a... I don't know, I guess some sort of vehicle. Two people here. Uh, Nicole! Hello, Nicole. I feel like it's been, it's been a little bit since I've seen you live. Thanks for stopping by. Nicole guesses like I do that this is going to be a vehicle. By the way, um, here, let me just, uh, yeah, let's go. There we go. That's good. All right. So, um, you know, if you have an idea as I'm putting this together, go ahead and blurt it out. See if you get it. Wow. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, we just uh, hit 250 subs, by the way, my friends, on uh, the stream the other night. I'm drinking another one of these that my wife has concocted. What did you call this, Jess? What was the name of it? This, this uh, lovely blue drink here. You never came up with a name. Okay. Um, oh, wait, I thought it was Blue Heaven. Blue Heaven? Mm-hmm. I think this one's a bit stronger than the one the other night. Yeah. Yeah. The old lady's trying to get me drunk on the stream here. Okay, let me, uh, got some eggnog in the icebox. Um, well, in, in that drink, uh, no, no eggnog in there. We did have some eggnog in the fridge, but I think we got rid of it because I forgot about it. We all forgot about the eggnog we had. We do need to buy more. We will definitely need some on Christmas Eve and Christmas Day. We, we got eggnog when we were decorating. Uh, that's a good time to have eggnog. And then we kind of forgot about it. But now I'm definitely going to want some for uh, Christmas Day. Okay, so let's uh, get to constructing. It's the adult variety. Uh, yeah, that would we'll we'll probably put a splash of something in there. This right here, this blue drink that you see in my Cheers uh, glass here, this is uh, what was in this again? Blue Curacao, Sprite, and uh, Svedka. What was that stuff called? Svedka. Yeah, it's blue Blue Raspberry Svedka. Okay, so uh, 
back to the construction. Just gonna take this piece. No, that can't be it. They're gonna try and gonna try and play games with me here. Uh, uh, okay, I think maybe. Uh, hold on. Let me see if I got this right. We got four people here. Hello, all of you. Thanks for being here. Um, say hello to uh, Nicole and Jesse. They're here hanging out. As I go along, let me know in the uh, live chat if you happen to have a guess concerning what we're putting together here. Obviously, it'd be pretty tough to uh, guess based on these items. So, uh, but we might have a we might have a real crackerjack out there who can put it together real quick. So this, I think. What's up with this one? Does this? These are. Oh boy. This is. They make it really interesting for you with these one panel um, instructions. They make it real interesting for you. So I think that's, I think that's right, like that. And then I guess this has to go, does this go over here? What's going on there? I'm trying to sort it out, I'm trying to get this one. No, that doesn't. Like this? Uh, I think this is right. I think. And then, then it looks like, if I'm judging it correctly, this piece is gonna go in the end, like so's. Okay, still no guesses in here. By the way, I see that we've got four people hanging out. Only one thumbs up so far. Uh, let's try and let's try and iron that out, guys. Help me out. Help a brother out in the Christmas spirit. Do it for the Advent. Thank you very much. There's uh, there's another thumbs up. We got five people here now. Five people, two thumbs up. We can keep it going. We can do better than that. I know. I know we can do it. Uh, this piece now. What goes on here? What, what is, what's the deal? Um, gonna snap this one. Could be a, like a loafer. This is a brown loafer that you have to snap just on the side of this little guy. There we go. Pretty good. Okay. Uh, and I suppose They'll probably want us to do the same thing on the other side. Even though it doesn't say it explicitly, you just have to kind of divine certain instructions, certain steps, because um, it's just one picture. It's one picture, and you just have to kind of figure it out in, in many cases. So, okay. So then we've got to do, there's like a little doodad and, and the doodad consists of, of what? One of these, this black piece. Does anyone know what this is yet? Any guesses? Not yet. Uh, all right, so we got this black piece. And then what you gotta do is you gotta, what, what, what happens here? Does it hook on like so? Um, okay, maybe like that, maybe that would be it. And then these go like that. You do that, one on each side, and then it's gonna snap there, okay. That doesn't, that doesn't look very impressive, but what are you gonna do, you know? Only so much you can do. Now we're gonna recreate that again. A little snappery do, okay? 
and then this one's gonna clip on like so. Okay. And, um, Obi-Wan, hello Obi-Wan. Is it something belonging to Jabba? Does this look like it belongs to Jabba? Uh, I don't know. It kind of looks like a, oops. Kind of looks like a GoBot. If you ever had GoBot toys. You know, because they weren't as complex or as fun as Transformers. It would be like, it'd be like this, really. It's like, oh, look at this speeder. But the GoBot version, it's like, oh, it's also a guy. And his arms come down. And then it's like, oh, look. Now he's a, now he's a dude. Now he can fight with your action figures. Uh, GoBots. Could be a Star Wars GoBot. <clears throat> Which they just started a comic book for that I'm trying to track down. My local comic book shop did not even get any, um, any copies of the first issue when it just came out just a few weeks ago. I actually made a trip out to the comic book shop, my first trip out in a while, and, uh, and I was like, you guys, you sell out of GoBots? And the dude working's like, we didn't even, we didn't order any. We didn't even order any, dude. Oh, okay. Well then, I see where you stand. I see what kind of guy I'm dealing with. Maybe a speeder. Not really the right color, though. He was thinking it might have uh, been Jabba's barge, but not looking like it now. No, this is definitely, it's definitely giving me speeder vibes. And then, it's, but this piece right here, you know, there we go. That's it. Now it's fully completed. So it's, it's definitely like a speeder transport of some style or type. I don't know what this is from. I would need uh, to look this up or I'd need someone to come in here. We'd need two people to confirm what this is. Doesn't look like anything from episode six. Yeah, I don't, I'm not certain. I don't know. And I don't know what this piece is right here. If this is just like a, what is that? Is it just, is it supposed to just be a stand or what? Because none of the others, another, ugh, none of the other items that we've built so far uh, none of the others have had any sort of display. So I feel like this has some sort of function, right? It's a functioning piece. Maybe this is where you would draw um, fuel up from somehow. I don't know. But there we go. That's it. That's That's today's. And they gave us more than enough extra pieces. I don't know how they decide how many extra pieces to give out, but you know, sometimes we haven't gotten any. What's up, JP? Um, we got more than enough extra pieces today. Maybe JP can identify this. JP, do you have any idea what this fella is right here? You know what that might be? Jess says hello, everybody. My wife is being nice and cordial. She's uh, prepared for me this Blue Heaven drink. Uh, she made me one last night. This one is stronger than the one from last evening. A little ASMR for you. Some gla uh, the the ice cubes just uh, just rattling around. All right, Jess is gonna build up the liquor stash so she can whip up some really fancy beverages on, on the live streams. That'll be another reason to tune in. Come on in, see, uh, 
see what we're talking about, see what kind of drinks we're making. Get back to your roots, yes, in fact. My wife used to be a fantastic bartender, did a real bang-up job <clears throat> down at the Pearl, which then became Club Vex, which is now an empty building, probably because, uh, probably because they no longer had my wife uh, pouring drinks over there. Obi-Wan wants to know if I'm finding some good songs I can sing. I mean, I didn't want to do that too much. I don't, I don't want to copy you, Obi-Wan. I'm not trying to copy the Obi-Wan Reviews channel. I could do it. I know I could. I can sing in other videos, of course, seeing as this is a music-based channel, ultimately. That's why it's, uh, we started as Super Divorce's YouTube channel. We are a band, after all. So I suppose it's not... It wouldn't be too strange if I performed every now and again. I just don't do it a lot. Not here on the stream. Yeah, if I'm just having a long, drunken stream, JP is playing tanks and watching. Playing tanks... Oh. Playing tanks. Is tanks fun? I've never played tanks. There's our extra stash. Getting very close to the day when we're going to have to build something out of all these pieces that we've put in this baggie over the course of uh, our time here with the advent calendar. World of Tanks with Test Monkey. Yeah, I've... I've seen uh, commercials and such for World of Tanks. I've just never, never played it before. So there we go. I feel like I actually, I got the light set up in a decent configuration here tonight. This looks pretty decent on my phone. I'm happy with that. Happy with that. This drink looks nice in the light. Yeah, looking good. Mm-hmm. I thought we were going to do um, whiskey and Coke, and then that didn't happen. I got another one of these, but that's okay. I'm not mad about it. I'm just grateful that I've got something here in front of me, something to see up on. Did I see your last day of work video you posted yesterday? No, I didn't see that. Did, was it like last day of work before Christmas break or did you quit your job, Obi-Wan? Did you quit your job? Did something happen at the workplace? Was there a big scandal? Is this a controversy? Is it uh, Obi-Wan's work gate? Oh, just last day before Christmas. No, I, I didn't see that. I did not, uh, no joke, I, haven't, I didn't even see that one pop up in my, my alerts or my notifications. Did not see that. I'll have to go back and watch it. Did you guys have a party? <clears throat> How many pies were present? There had to be at least a few pies and cakes. Probably a big spread of some sort, as you guys like to do. Spend like $10,000 on catering. Uh, so I've been so busy with um, preparing for Christmas and getting gifts ready and getting the house all in order and such that I haven't really paid much attention to any pop culture news for I'd say like the past couple weeks, I mean, I just hear this or that in passing, but um, you let me watch it. Yeah, I'll check it out. I'll, I'll report back. But uh, I know Aquaman is out now. I think that looks pretty fun. Is there any big news that I've missed by not paying attention? I did see there's new Men in Black coming. I saw the trailer was released for it and I didn't bother watching it. I'm just not, 
I was never a huge fan of the first two movies, so I wasn't really compelled to check out the new trailer. It's it seems a little silly. Seems like a strange franchise to bring back out of nowhere. Uh, I, I I have um, I would say I have my doubts about how well that one's going to do at the box office. That just doesn't seem like a very lucrative move to make. Uh, I could be wrong. I could be wrong, but yeah, Nicole's not not looking to watch the turd men in black. Yeah, it'll it probably will be turdy. It I mean I don't know if if Will Smith or Tommy Lee Jones will have a cameo. But um yeah, I'll probably be a little, it'll be a little turdy, I think. That's a good that's a good prediction. Yeah. Is anyone else here really looking forward to it? Do we have Obi-Wan? Are you like a big Men in Black fanboy? How about you, JP? You love Men in Black? Will you um, be very upset when you see it if there's no uh, cameos from Will Smith? or They could have let Chris Hemsworth speak with his Aussie accent. Yeah, I suppose they could have. I wonder why they, they chose not to. Um... I guess the men in black, they're supposed to be part of the U.S. government, right? So maybe that's why they wanted him to be more like a red-blooded American type. I don't know if that's necessary. I mean, he always could have been a, a guy who moved to the United States and became an agent afterwards. I don't know. It doesn't. Men in black just doesn't seem like the type of movie where in the men in black universe you need to have like this this deep lore i don't know maybe there are probably men in black super fans out there who would be very offended by what i'm saying right now it's just not i just don't think it's very interesting i went on a really horrible date in high school to see men in black 2 um it just it's I, it's always left a bad taste in my mouth the title of the movie is men in black internationally is that what it's called no, this will be MIB, pun on MI5, and set in London. Oh, okay. Well, uh, yeah, then I, I don't know why you would make him change his accent. That doesn't, that doesn't seem to make any sense to me. Um, what I would see is if they do perhaps a Men in Black 4 starring Chris Hemsworth and Paul Hogan. I would go and watch that one. Men in Black Australia, where the whole thing takes place in Australia and it's just Paul Hogan fighting aliens. St. Elmo's Fire is the one he had a bad date on. No, it's too bad. I love St. Elmo's Fire. It's a great movie. Fantastic soundtrack, too. I've got the soundtrack on vinyl record. Uh, one of my favorite vinyls that I've got. One of my favorites. I love St. Elmo's Fire. It's, it's really an underrated Brat Pack film, I feel. Everyone always talks about the John Hughes stuff. Everyone always overlooks St. Elmo's Fire. Um, but I think, it, uh, I think it holds up. I think it's up there with The Breakfast Club. Yeah. Often overlooked, though. And that's too bad. That's too bad. But yeah, I, uh, Men in Black 2, I went out with this girl, and um, I used to wear like wristbands in high school. You know, I had these wristbands. I had all sorts of flavors and colors of wristbands I would wear, and as a sign of, of affection, I gave this girl one of my wristbands, and then like never talked again. It was just a bit, uh, yeah, it was a bad date. It wasn't good. It was very awkward for some reason. Uh, let's see. What are, we, what are we talking about here? Men in Black was one of the few VHS tapes that Obi-Wan had growing up. So he supposes he's a fan. Well, yeah, um, and I understand. The movies that you own on VHS when you were growing up, that's, 
you can you can kind of form a connection with them. And I'm not I'm not uh, discounting um, your nostalgia there. You know, uh, I'm not going to challenge that because I know how that goes. I love the Masters of the Universe movie, which everyone hates. Uh, I am often ridiculed when that movie comes up and I defend it. I just love it. I'm not saying it's a great movie. I'm just saying I absolutely love watching that movie. I, I could watch that right now. I, I will watch that movie over and over again. Even though I also love Masters of the Universe, the show, and it's nothing like the show, for some reason it didn't bother me as a kid. You know, I, I think I was maybe like five when it came out. I just thought it was cool. Oh, I, I kind of accepted it. It was like, oh, well, it's not the cartoon. This is, this is what it looks like in real life. And Dolph Lundgren played He-Man, and uh, and the way Skeletor looked, I thought it was cool. And the cosmic key was badass. I wish that it would be cool if there was an actual working cosmic key. Some company has probably made one. Obi Wan's heading out to polish off his Christmas shopping. Well, uh, best of luck to you. Be safe out there. I don't know how Australians are when they're out and about, when they're driving around and, and the holiday craziness, but uh, be careful. Be careful, Obi-Wan. And best of luck to you when you're, when you're searching for Christmas gifts. I hope that you find some cool items. It's extremely hot. Oh, that sounds really uncomfortable. That sounds so unappealing to be somewhere where it's extremely hot around Christmas time. I just can't. I, I know that you've grown up that way, so it's, it's probably fine to you, but maybe you think it would be weird to be somewhere where it's cold for Christmas. Jess said, fun fact, a couple years ago, Nick bleached his hair and cut it into a mullet to look like Dolph Lundgren. I did do that. I did exactly that. Um... What was this? Uh, Nicole said, would be better if there was a little tie into the first two. Laser blast humanoids from the deep last action hero masters, master of the universe movie, Cherry 2000. Yeah. Bye, Obi-Wan. Um, JP says, oh no, it's nice. He lived in the Philippines. Uh, yeah, I just, I just, it just does not sound good. I like a good old-fashioned white Christmas. You know what I'm saying? I don't think I can. I don't think I can budge on that one. I think I'm going to be belligerent in defending the idea that Christmas uh, should be spent in a cool, at the very least, a cool weather, but preferably a cold weather clime. So, I mean, maybe if you went on vacation somewhere, I know people do that. Nicole just doesn't want to drive in a blizzard. Yeah, well, you know, there's like a, there's a sweet spot, I would say. Um, JP said in Philippines, a white Christmas means something totally different. Oh, boy. Oh, no, that was Test Monkey. Test Monkey said that. Hello, Test Monkey. Um, yeah, you snuck up on me there. Thanks for joining the stream. Yeah, um, JP lives in Wisconsin now. Likes white Christmases, but flip-flops and shorts are nice too. Oh, and Obi-Wan's AC is broken in his car, so he's going to have a nice roasty, toasty uh, uh, shopping session when he's out and about. You know, just... Just hightail it to wherever you're going. Are you going to that big mall that you went to in the one video um, where you were looking for the capsule toys? Is that where you're going to go shopping, Obi-Wan? I'm sure that they will have air condition uh, shopping conditions for you there. Test Monkey likes fire. You like fire, Test Monkey. Um... Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah, JP said there would be bacon. 
Yes, yes, he was right. Um, yes, we're all about uh, pleasing our viewers here, so um, he was right. There's the bacon. So if that's why you're here, there you go. Thanks for uh, stopping out. We really appreciate it. Hopefully you've subscribed to this channel and bong the gong for notifications so you know when we go, go live. We go live at least once a day. JP didn't know there actually would be bacon. Well, we've got some... Because JP told Test Monkey that there would be bacon on the stream. So we've got... Yeah, this is, this is the good stuff. This is uh, hardwood smoked, uh, thick cut, sugar cured bacon. This is from Kroger. Yes, it is thick cut. We do not like, thank you. Thank you for subbing, Test Monkey. Appreciate it. Obi-Wan says, uh, he's going to a local shopping center, which funnily enough, he'll be helping to design a big upgrade of in the new year. Okay. Driving now, see you next time. Yes, be safe, don't text and drive. JP says, Kroger sucks. Well, uh, we don't have many options around here, JP. You know, it's like, uh, I, I definitely prefer other grocers. There's a nice place called Dorothy Lane Market around here, which is more of an upscale grocery store that I'll go to for specialty items. I like Dorothy Lane Market a lot. It's a very nice, very nice shopping experience when you go there. Uh, but if you're going for your standard items, they just cost a lot more when you go to a place like that. So uh, for everyday average items, I'll go to Kroger. No big deal. Is it free range bacon? Um, let's see what it says. Well, it's... It shows these guys out on an open range. So I think that that, I think that this is, uh, this is to indicate that it is free range bacon because this is where it comes from. This big open range right here, you see the farmer and his children. The farmer and his children are out uh, on the open range and that means that this is in fact open range, free range, organic, hardwood smoked thick cut sugar cured bacon and here's your cooking instructions and uh, safe handling and all these kinds of things so yeah yeah this is a uh, high quality stuff yeah actually shows that this is human bacon well yeah I mean that's it's what everyone wants right it's the best kind no, 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 no. We're not, we're not supporting cannibalism on this channel. I have to make that clear. Um, you can't joke around about things in general. So I want to clear the air right now. If this video gets reported, uh, Super Divorce does not support cannibalism. When I was talking about this being free range, I meant that the farmer was out with his children looking at his free range farm. Now, of course, you don't see you don't see any any swine in this picture because they've all been used. They've all been used for bacon. So this picture is like a moment of contemplation when they're all out there and they're surveying the fields and he's like, "Oh god. Whoo! Man. We really took care of a lot of pigs today, didn't we?" And they're like, "Yeah." What are we going to do now? Like, well, huh. I, I didn't think that far ahead. And then he has to, then it turns into a whole story where he's got to figure out how he's going to keep his farm going because he, he accidentally used up all of his pigs, including the ones that he was supposed to, uh, to breed for new bacon. He got carried away and he's like, oh, just let's just do bacon out all of them. Let's turn them all into bacon. Yeah, we can. Yeah, we'll we'll go ahead and do that. And then, well, he should have taken his time and and thought his plan through a little better. Because now, look at his open range right there. Not a single pig in sight. 
they were able to get a, some bacon over to us, but uh, will he be able to continue? Yeah, it's starting to sound like Lord of the Flies. Yeah. Well, you know, what do they say? Uh, life imitates art. And I think that's what's happening here. So uh, I, I wish this guy the best. I hope that uh, he's able to figure out a, a viable solution and bring his farm back to the back from the brink because he's got children who were hoping to inherit the farm someday. And, and, and as of right now, they're not going to be inheriting much. So you can really you can really feel for these people. The old man will probably be killed soon. Uh, I hope not. That would be sad. That would be a devastating ending to this story because we were here. I mean, it was so hopeful. It was all about free range, open range bacon. And uh, now it's looking like this guy. I mean, no one knows what's going to happen. It's really, really uh, a dire situation. So, oh boy, I didn't, I didn't expect things to get so dark. All because of the bacon that we brought out. Now, you never know what's going to happen here. You never know what you're going to get with a super divorce live stream. That's one thing. You can hang your hat on that. You never know what's going to happen around here. You never know what kind of topics are going to come up. By the way, I meant to ask earlier. Well, I did ask, but we didn't really, we didn't go into it much. We talked about men in black. Thank you. I'm glad you like it. We talked about men in black just a bit. Is there any, any big pop culture news story that, uh, that, that has really shocked you or rocked you to your core that's come up, you know, maybe within the past week or so, because I've been pretty out of the loop. I haven't really been paying much attention to anything besides uh, getting all of my Christmas shopping completed and presents wrapped and doing a deep clean on the house before Christmas and all this kind of stuff. So I've been a bit out of the loop. So if there's anything that, that you feel like uh, I should weigh in on, you know, or anything you want to talk about, go ahead and let me know. I'm, I'm all ears right now. Love to hear. Uh, the Kardashians are quitting social media. Like all social media or just certain platforms? Because I know there's there's the controversy happening right now with Patreon. What is this? Um, yeah, all, all forms of social media. The Kardashians are leaving. Well... I don't follow any of them, so I can't say that impacts me too much, but uh, I do know that they have a lot of followers, and I would say that that's... <laughs> Alex Jones finally admitted he was Bill Hicks. Uh, that would be a shocking revelation. But I, yeah, the, the social media stuff is very strange right now, the, just the lay of the land... It's like those things, at first glance, I think it's easy to write them off and be like, okay, we'll see you later. No one gives a shit. Kim Kardashian is, is or the Kardashians in general are quitting social media. Okay, good riddance. Farewell. No one cares. Uh, why is that news? That might be your first reaction. But, but that coupled with everything that's happening with Patreon right now, everything that's going on with Twitter... Uh, the banning of certain accounts. It's like if if more celebrities, and this is one place where they do matter, if more celebrities, if they begin leaving social media, uh, that's, that's going to really hit some of these uh, platforms in the pocketbooks. And I think it really could have an effect um, on the social landscape. I don't know exactly what's going to happen, but I do know that a bunch of people are leaving Patreon right now. And, uh, you know, even, even people who seem, like I said, kind of inconsequential people who are like celebrities because they're celebrities. If a bunch of them 
end up jumping off of, say, Twitter or, uh, or, or Facebook. Um, that's a sinking ship right now, it seems anyway. But uh, it's like I, it could really it really could have an impact on society at large. If a bunch of these people who everyday average Joe uh, follows all across these different platforms and sort of checks in constantly to see what these people are saying, if they all disappear from social media, I mean, that could have a big impact on, on the way people are, are using those platforms themselves. Uh, I don't know if anything like that's going to happen, but it's just, it's interesting to think about. Uh, maybe there could be some sort of awakening, perhaps, uh, without sounding too new agey, where it's like, maybe we are um, spending too much time just kind of mindlessly scrolling uh, through these different conversations that that don't involve us m many times, that we, we really don't... Uh, that we don't gain anything by participating in. Um, it's like even the stuff that I, that I was really following and paying attention to with like, if anyone here is uh, familiar with the comics gate stuff, it's like, I was really, I was really interested in everything that was happening there for a good while. And then it, it just seemed to devolve into a bunch of infighting and, uh, and, and silliness and, it seems to be the way that, that a bunch of these online conversations go. It just doesn't seem to be a very effective platform for, um, at least for carrying on meaningful discussions. Um, not, not in like a large group setting, I would say. Not in a large group setting where you kind of jump into a conversation that, that you weren't in when it began and, and it's all of this, uh, just bickering back and forth, it becomes a waste of time. And people end up leaving feeling perhaps worse than, the, than they did when they, they entered into it. Um, I don't know. I don't know. It's just uh, when your time is at a premium, I would say, uh, a lot of this shit that people spend so much time just going back and forth about, it just it starts to look silly. I don't know. Have I heard the new rules about fan-made Star Trek? I've not. I've not heard any new rules about that. What exactly are the rules? Who's, who's setting the rules here? Is this like something that's, that's being handed down from, from the people who uh, are in charge of Star Trek to anyone who wants to make fan films? Or is this the rules, uh, from, the, rules from CBS? So CBS is, is handing down rules to fans who are trying to make Star Trek fan films. Kind of like follow these guidelines or else we will hit you with a cease and desist or something like that. Seems like a good way to, uh, to bring about, um, you know, uh, goodwill to build good rapport with your fan base. If that's exactly what you're saying, seems like a really good idea. Mm -mm -mm. <sighs> and on the uh yeah on the on stuff like that on fan stuff you know on stuff like uh stuff on stuff like comics gate it's like there is a problem there is a problem with with the way that the big two two 15 minute cbs episodes and now tie in wait and now tie in with other shows. I'm not two 15 minute CBS episode and now tie in with other shows. All right, JP, take care. Good night. So CBS was striking YouTube channels for making fan films. That's, yeah, that doesn't seem like a very good idea. Seems like you're just gonna make people angry. I've never understood why, uh, Nintendo's done that too. 
No, no. Thanks for turning Test Monkey on to us. I, I hope that Test Monkey uh, will come and hang out often. The more the merrier around here. Um, oh, and I forgot. I totally forgot, guys. Since we hit 250, we needed to uh, give away... We need to give away a copy of our album. And we were going to do that to... Uh, we're going to give that to a lucky subscriber who said we would do it on a stream and it would be probably to uh to someone hanging out so they were striking guys who just did star trek lore and showed just pics that's really extreme that's really extreme i i hope they don't do anything like that with star wars because me and me and my good brother uh we have gotten about, I think, around 80 episodes in on our Star Wars show called Sequential Star Wars, where we are reviewing the entire Star Wars saga in sequential chronological order and um, going through the entire new timeline. All forms from short stories to comics to uh, the TV shows and the movies. Everything. So... We're about 80 episodes in, and we've had to take a little bit of a break the past, I would say, maybe two months, just because of all the craziness around the holidays, but we're going to get back to it soon. Um, we're over halfway through the Clone Wars, uh, and we've got a few things we need to go and plug back in before the Clone Wars happened. There were some, some Star Wars comics that just came out within the past couple weeks, that come before uh, that come before where we are right now. Um, Obi Wan is sweating right now, sweating on his drive as he's out and about trying to uh, track down some last minute Christmas gifts for everyone on his list. We wish Obi Wan the best. It's thirty nine degrees Celsius. What is it here? Mm, I don't know. We don't use Celsius. I don't use Celsius. Uh, I'd need to convert that. Um, I don't know. Hey, Jess. What? What's a temperature? It is 37 degrees. Yeah, that's Fahrenheit. Yeah. What are we looking at in Celsius? I just thought if you were looking at an app or something, it would show you. Yeah. I was trying to tell Obi-Wan. He was curious. I thought that, I thought that zero was equal to 32. Hold on. I can't We're checking it out. Yeah, Obi-Wan, eat a nice, refreshing Vegemite sandwich. Really cool yourself down. An ice-cold Vegemite sandwich. A Vegemite popsicle. I wonder if they have those. Do they have Vegemite popsicles, Obi Wan? Okay. You said it's about four degrees. Okay, Obi Wan. It's about four degrees Celsius here. Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty warm. It's pretty warm. Thanks for all the thumbs up, guys. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Yeah, so uh, four degrees Celsius here in the great state of Ohio. Oh, around Oh, it's around 100. <clears throat> all right. I guess I'll move on to this Coca-Cola. Yeah, he said the AC is out in his... Oh, no. Test Monkey unsubbed because I'm in Ohio. What do you got against Ohio? Ohio is a great place. Where'd you say you're from? Was it... Uh... Maybe you didn't say. Did you say where you were from? 
state police there suck? Yes, do. Most of them. Rob doesn't suck. He's retired. Well. I mean, that, that could happen anywhere you go. State police. Those guys can get a little high and mighty. You know what I mean? You got to be careful. You got to be careful of the state police. Well, I'm in Southern Ohio. Yeah. I'm just about a half hour away from the Kentucky border. Uh, so very close to Cincinnati. Um, I really don't like going up north. There's not much. I, I don't go to Northern Ohio very often. And then there's like the weird, you know, it's like crudely, if this box is Ohio, you know, it's like, no, it's not been snowing here. Unfortunately, I, I hope it picks up. I, I always like snow on Christmas. I want it to look like this. I want it to look like the Christmas planet of Christmasis here. More of a white Christmas up north. Uh, yeah, better chance of it. Uh, better chance up north in Ohio or in Michigan. But, yeah, down here, it's always kind of a crapshoot. You never know. It's weird. It's like, uh, I feel like it's either it's e either in like the 50s on Christmas or it's covered in snow. You don't really get an in-between. Kind of how the seasons are here. Uh, it doesn't feel like you get a very extended fall or an extended spring. It's like it, it jumps from one thing to the next pretty quickly um but yeah so i'd be like i'm like down in this region you know if this was ohio and then there's you know up here this region you got people who like it up there because uh of cleveland and toledo and all that stuff and then there's like this wasteland over here there's like i don't i don't know anything that's over here in ohio in this region I don't know any cities. I don't know any reason to ever travel this way down in, in this particular area. It's uh, it's like a strange wilderness. I, I have no idea what's over there. The only time I ever go this way is if I'm driving, if I have to drive like to uh, Pennsylvania and then you like, might have to pass through some of this, some of these wild lands, mid Ohio raceway. I've never gone there for anything. I don't know. Am I a Reds fan? Yeah, I grew up a Reds fan. I haven't followed baseball very closely for probably about 10 years now. Same with, same with the Bengals. I was really into the Bengals growing up and up until, I don't know, my mid-20s maybe, early mid-20s. Um, I just don't really follow the NFL anymore. Uh, don't follow the MLB now I follow the, the Aussie cricket team. I'm, I'm trying to. I'm trying to get into it. The only sport that, I, that I've really kind of hung on to that I will follow every year is the NBA. Now, I don't follow every single game because you have to be really diehard. There's so many NBA games. The season is so long, but um, I always get excited for the NBA playoffs every year. Yeah, the Reds and the Bengals haven't had a team in over 10 years anyway. That's, that's pretty true. Uh, and that's it's too bad because they've, they've had some opportunities. With the Bengals, I, I just heard that they, you know, last season, in the offseason, I believe it was, they renewed, um, what's his name, Marvin Lewis's contract. <laughs> I'm just like, oh, my God. That's why I'm not a fan. You just support mediocrity. They don't reward you for being a fan whatsoever. It's like they don't even try. You know, and and I know that there's like, you don't want to be a fair weather fan. I, it's not, it's not a problem, for me to be a, a fan of a team that that does poorly, um, that's struggling, that is in the process of rebuilding, but it's like when the front office seems to have, almost just like a open disdain for their fan base, 
Like they're not, not only are they not going to try, they're going to do things that, that are to the detriment of the team that they know are only going to mire the team in mediocrity and, and possibly make them worse. It's, it's like, then it's a slap in the face. Then you're like, why am I spending money on you? Why do I want to continue to give this team money when they're not going to use this to try and get better, better? You know, you're, I know it's not like you're coaching, but if you're a fan and you go and buy a ticket, it's like the money that you're spending is helping that team stay in business. So it's like you, you, I think get at least some slight say in the matter. And at the very least you can decide to let them know how you feel by not spending money on them and not supporting them. And I don't think that that makes you a fair weather fan. It's like, I want you to be good. And because of that, I'm going to withhold my dollars from you until you start making an effort to do something to make this team better. So, have I ever heard of Rick Reed? Uh, I don't believe so, Test Monkey. I don't think so. Who is Rick Reed? Obi-Wan said, I just meant you follow it through his updates. The series is locked at one each at the moment. Next game starts on Boxing Day. Ah, I see. Yes. Yes. Well, I, I was just thinking about Don Bradman earlier um, and how I need to uh, really plunk some time into that so that we can, we can get on a competitive level. I don't want it to be a squash match when we play. Rick Reed was a pitcher. Oh. Yeah, I don't, uh, I'm not familiar with Rick Reed. Is that a, an older or a, a newer fella? And which team? I really followed the Reds closely in the 90s. Um, up through the, I would say, early to mid-2000s. I went to I went to one of the games in the last playoff series that they were in. I think that was back in 2010. That was pretty cool. Um, oh, grew up with him. He played for the Reds and Mets, etc. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, I uh, I would say Reds. You know, they're my old nostalgia childhood team. I do like the Red Sox. Um, not to be like too much of a bandwagoner. It's more of like, it came from an experience. I went to Boston for the first time, I think back in like 2007 and went to Fenway with my dad. And it was just a really cool experience. The fans there seemed so much more into it and, uh, and alive and, and impassioned than any, any, uh, crowd that I'd ever been a part of it. Synergy Field back then or the Great American Ballpark watching a Reds game. It was just like a totally different experience to see people that wrapped up and, uh, and, and fired up about a baseball game. And then I went back with my wife. We actually went to Boston. We went to a few different places, but Boston was one place we stopped on our honeymoon. And we got to see a Yankees-Red Sox playoff game, which was maybe the coolest uh, baseball experience I've ever been a part of. I would say even better than, than seeing the Reds in the playoffs. That rivalry and then being there in the, in the postseason, it was just really neat. Um, yeah. But I really, after going and seeing them, I think I gained a, a new respect for the Red Sox. Uh, just being a part of that tradition in person and, and seeing how much people cared about it and how into it they were, it's really neat. Yeah. Do we get full-strength beer at baseball games? Absolutely. They just charge you a butthole for it. Yeah, yeah. You, the, the amount that you pay for one beer at a baseball game or really any sports uh, event that you go to, like professionally, you're going to pay probably – the same amount for one beer that you would pay for a 12 pack, like no joke, not exaggerating at all. Um, I would say at minimum, you're going to be spending probably like $9 for a, for a beer and they are full strength. Yes. I, 
That seems like it'd be a definite no-go. I don't think people here would put up with that. Charging you this exaggerated price, and not only that, but also making it like a, a, a sort of less than full strength alcoholic beverage, no good. Oh, geez. Um, Sample. Obi-Wan said, 12 pack for $9? Can't believe it. I was gonna say, that's about the price of 12 pack almost. Yeah. Yeah, 12 pack for $9. That's shitty, shitty beer. Well, I mean, just like whatever, not. A standard 12 pack is probably between 12 and 14. It depends. It dep right now they've got, uh, right now over at Ameristop, they've got, um, what was it? I think it's a, a 15 pack of 16 ounce cans of Bud Light for $9.99. Oh, that's pretty good. It's like a special deal they have going on. Oh, That'll probably make Obi-Wan's head explode. That looks that, like a is that my looks like a butt crack. Look at this. On on the screen right here. It looks like it looks like there's a butt crack on your tablet. Oh my god. What is that? <laughs> is that is that porn? <laughs> you turn me into Ethan. It's, it's, that better not be a, porn. <laughs> no, it's a reference that my, my client sent. It's just an arm. Oh, okay. It looked like porn for a second. Okay. No, I can't. Nobody can even see it. I didn't even put it in the camera. Sorry about that. Nicole said explosive combo whiskey and bacon. Yeah. Yeah. It's true. Old Smoky. Are you tasting this? Tennessee. It's a uh, salty caramel whiskey. <sighs> yeah. I don't think anyone cares. Is my wife bothering you guys? <laughs> she just asked if it was bothersome because she was in the screen. I was getting sleepy in the other room by myself. Obi-Wan says he spends so much on beer. Aww. Also because he always gets singles to review them. Do you, uh, do you write off your beer purchases, Obi-Wan? I don't know if they can do that. I don't know how their tax system goes. Yeah, can you save... They probably don't have all the bullshit we have. Uh, I don't know. They might be more strict about it. Yeah, if Obi Wan. Oh, thanks, she doesn't mind if I'm here. I don't think anyone does. If you, uh, yeah, if you get your channel monetized, you know, you might want to hold on to all those beer receipts because then. Oh no. <laughs> does she make a good sandwich? <laughs> I'm, I'm a good cook. Yeah, she. Makes a lot of sandwiches though. Yeah. She is a good cook though. Mm -hmm. It is a force to be reckoned with. A Christmas feast. It is the biggest feast of the year. Oh, wait, real quick before we take our shot. Um, just wanted to let Obi-Wan see that I'm wearing my fancy pants. Oh, yeah, there's there's the Elias can pants. You <laughs> yeah, you can see them. Okay. Uh, so, Test Monkey said that you can stay then. Oh, what if I didn't make good food? <laughs> what I need to be. Yeah, then I guess you need to. Hit the bricks. Aww. Get out of here. All right, here you go. Oh, cheers. Let's cheers. Cheers to our viewers. Yes. Cheers to you. It's very syrupy. It is. It's like drinking maple syrup. Hmm. That probably, I mean, I think it'd be good mixed with something. Yeah, that would be... Here's my uneducated... American whiskey review. Uh, like if you poured mostly maple syrup and a tiny bit of whiskey in a, in a shot glass and drink it. Yeah, this Pancake. is. I mean that. Yeah, that tastes like this would be good on pancakes. You know what? Here, let me. I got you. What? Can you can you stomach one more drink? Uh, yeah, I think so. Okay. Can I stomach one more drink? She asked. What do we say here? Oh, test, test Monkey said if uh, you hadn't made a good sandwich, then we'd discuss cannibalism again. Oh, no, not cannibalism. Okay, let's see. Let's see. Here you go. You 
want you want to teach the viewers how to make a fancy beverage? Hold on, real quick. Obi Wan said he's got um, fifty dollars to spend. Um, fifty dollars each to spend on his mom and dad. Any ideas? Oh, for me? Yeah. Do you have any ideas for Obi-Wan, what he should get for his parents? I, I don't know what they like. What kind of people are they? What do they like, Obi-Wan? It's too fancy. Does your dad like, uh, is your dad a cricket player or a cricket fan? I would imagine he probably is. I'm going to do it. I've already got them a $100 voucher for the gold lounge at the cinema. Oh, that sounds That's fancy. Are they big moviegoers, the parents? That'd be good. Oh, I don't know. Let's see. Brisbane Bronco fan. Test monkey asks. Um... I feel like you could do you could always do a gift card, but that's kind of boring. Don't you think? Yeah. Are they like to read? Are they readers? Yeah, you read. Are your parents readers? They like like reading things. If they like movies, you could always get your. What is this? Half and half. Dad's more of a casual cricket fan and not big moviegoers, which is why the Gold Lounge would be a good treat. Uh, how about a favorite film? You could always get like some uh, deluxe edition Blu-rays or something. And I think you said they have a record player. How about a nice vinyl record of uh, some of their favorite music? A lot of a lot of albums being re-released on vinyl now. Mum's a big reader, so Obi-Wan's gonna go to the bookstore for Mum. What kind of stuff does she like? Does she like romance novels or? Uh... Tell everyone to cover their ears and give that a fancy, good, hearty shake. Oh. I'm gonna get you more ice. Make sure that's on. You gotta cover your ears because this is gonna make a loud noise. All right, so here we go. We're gonna shake it up. Well. Is that good? Not too bad, huh? We just have to refresh our ice. Give me two seconds. All right, we're getting an ice refresh. Nicole said the drink looks great. Here, here we go. And the rugby league isn't popular in Western Australia. Well, that's interesting. I didn't realize that... Uh, I thought rugby was just popular all across Australia. Do you have... Is it kind of split into factions? Hold on. They like rugby on the east, and you guys like, uh, what, Australian football? on the west? Is that how you do things? Give me some of the dirty ice. The dirty ice. Oh boy. That's what they call it when you use some of the ice. Hold on. One more, one more trick. We're not done yet. Straws. <laughs> Might be a little too sweet, so there's a little bit more uh, more coffee in there. Okay. Fancy iced coffee. Ready? I'm gonna swirl it around, huh? No, you just. Oh. Right? <laughs> more? What is that? 
cinnamon and sugar. <laughs> She lost her mind. Well, I'll wait for you. That's gross. I'm gonna be really sad. Uh, can you see my tats? You want to see my tattoos? Nicole said she be an artist. Aww. Yeah. Camera keeps like shaking like a well, it's because I'm stomping around the house. I'm stomping <laughs> dinosaur. I can't. I was gonna say it's like Jurassic Park. <laughs> We're not the most graceful mm -hmm. of women. Whammons. You don't have to walk very hard on this floor to make the camera shake. Oh, why is everyone confused? Confused. But then he put what? a question mark, so I'm not sure if he's confused about being confused. Hold on. No, no, no. Oh, I, I didn't see this comment. There's rugby union is bigger here. Rugby league only really big in QLD and NSW. AFL versus rugby league is the big rivalry. Rugby union is popular all over. Okay. Fair enough. Okay, so... I don't know what this drink is. Mm. It's another, just. It's got the, the old smoky. Yeah. It's got some half and half, some iced coffee, and uh, whipped cream and sugar and cinnamon. Good. All right, here. Cheers. Enjoy, chef. I need something. <laughs> Too much half and half. Yeah, it's a little bland. And you just need more, uh, more <laughs> whiskey. I'm afraid to make it too strong, so I backed off on the whiskey. Queensland is QLD. Okay. I see now. QLD. I figured it stood for some, some place in Australia. Are you trying to add more yeah, of this? Might, might as well. <sighs> Make sure you close down the side so it doesn't get stuck in the whipped cream. NSW is uh, New South Wales. New South Wales. Is there an old South Wales too? What do I do here? What'd you say? Here, why don't you why don't you go ahead and why don't you go ahead and do that? I just said so it doesn't get stuck in the whipped cream. Well, I wasn't trying to get like super hammered or anything. Well, me neither, but it tastes gross. Well, it wasn't gross. It was just a little bland. I was trying to cut the, the sweetness, and I overcut it. So. What is a made-up drink? Mm, that's good. Yeah. It's kind of like a white Russian. Yeah, it's pretty white Russian-y. Mm -hmm. Sorry, I missed tats. Uh, yeah. Um. Hold on, this is my, well, it's gonna be upside down, isn't it? Oh. We've got, no, I'm gonna have to take this off the damn thing. Okay. This is my Green Lantern sleeve. It is in progress. Um. These are all characters from the Blackest Night storyline. Um, yeah. Yeah. There's the the Green Lantern Oath right there. You got a Guardian back there. You can't really, you can't, it's tough to, to finagle this. And then I've got, I've got an Adam over here and I've got this, this was my, Second tattoo, the black flag logo. This was my first one, the red black flag logo mm -hmm. that will be worked into my sleeve. That's why you've got stuff over top of it. I, it's not that I wanted to cover it up for any particular reason. It's just uh, I wanted this Green Lantern sleeve, and so um, it's being worked in. That's why we chose to put Atrocitus right there because he's a big old red guy. Yeah. Oh. 
Did Obi Wan ever say what kind of books his mom likes? I don't think he did. Say his mom likes to read. Yeah. She likes romance novels. That's what I was asking. Oh no, my mom used to read romance <laughs> novels when I was younger, and I remember picking one up and reading it. Like just, it was like magically. I don't know if they're just like filled with like every page has dirty stuff on it, but it was like right where I flipped to. I read some raunchy innuendos. And I was just like, oh, this is what my mom's been reading this whole time while we're all playing around in the living room. I remember being kind of horrified. And then I never picked one up again until you bought me one. And I'm still afraid to read it. Yeah, I bought, I bought Jess a romance novel <laughs> called Sweet Revenge. Uh, I've been trying to get her to read it. You should read it and do a review. Maybe, I, maybe we should read it together. She reads various fiction books and lots of them, so I don't know which ones she's read. Oh. Well... Hmm. I guess you could always get her a gift card to the bookstore. Seems like uh, something she might like. Though, like I said, gift cards, they can be a little, little boring. You know? You know what I'm saying? I do, yeah. Yeah? I got my mom a bottle of Bailey's, and I'm gonna get her some laundry detergent, which isn't very exciting. But she keeps she keeps asking what kind of detergent I use and sniffing me all the time <coughs> and stealing my baby and sniffing mm -hmm. him. And she's like, "Man, this smells so good. Your dad never lets me buy a cool laundry detergent. What is this?" <laughs> and I told her, and she's like, "No, nah, that might be too complicated. He's gonna get grumpy about that. So I don't know. He doesn't like to use fabric softener. Why?" So she, he likes to use the dryer sheets. He doesn't, he thinks that buying extra fabric softener to put in the actual washer mm -hmm. is just, um, just a waste. You it's know? like, the it's stuff ridiculous. that we buy is like, it's like $4 for I that mean, huge thing. You're very zoomed in on your beverage. Do you know that? Yeah. Okay. Oh, well, you got Rose Tico? Yeah. She's hanging on. She looks very jealous about your beverage. She's like going after it. She wants a little bit. She's tired of having swine flu. Poor Rose Tico. Do we have any Rose Tico fans here? I feel like everyone loves Rose Tico now. You kind of have to. True. Rose Tico fans, or uh, as they call themselves, the transsexuals. Yeah. Kelly Marie Tran, the actress. Oh, I get it. So, us Kelly Marie Tran fans like to call ourselves transsexuals. Us? Yeah. Who is Rose Tico, Test Monkey says. Well then. Test Monkey, are you not, um, are you not much of a, a Star Wars guy? Do you ever watch the Ethan Van Skyver YouTube channel? I feel like a lot of people who've become fans of this channel, uh, there, we have crossover there. We have Uncle Ethan fans who have uh, come over here and, and hung out. You love Star Wars, then you've got you've to gotta get yourself hip to Rose Tico from, uh, from The Last Jedi. You know, she's going to be in episode nine. They said she's going to have a larger role. So please look forward to that. <sighs> Found a book called The German. Oh, you don't know The Last Jedi. I think Test Monkey might be, uh, might be, um, Acting a little, uh, what would you say? Foolish? No. Well, on purpose. Sarcastic? A bit. Being cute about oh, The Last Jedi. You? Yeah, I think so. Oh, no. Trolling. Here I am just over here trying to work and gotta pay attention to all this trolling business. 
<clears throat> you can let go. You can let go of your uh, your Rose Tico hate now. It's okay. It's okay to love Rose Tr Rose Tico. You're gonna call it Rose Trico. Yeah, sure, Rose Trico. <laughs> it's okay to love Rose. It's okay to be a transsexual here. It's no problem. We're very accepting. We've all accepted Rose Tico, I think. I think Obi Wan. Uh, I think Obi Wan loves Rose. I'm pretty sure Good Brother Andrew does. I've got a Rose Tico action figure now and everything. Um, I did wait until it was on sale for under two dollars, I believe, but I bought one. Yes, if you're Obi Wan said that that uh, Test Monkey will fit in here. With his trolling. Yes. We're all a bunch of trolls. I'm not a troll. Jess is a huge troll. I'm never trolling anybody. Obi-Wan's found the Star Wars books. You're going to pick up some Chuck Wendig? <laughs> Get your mom a little Chuck Wendig for Christmas. Get her the Aftermath series. I think she'll love that. Or maybe you could go online and find her some, uh, find her some shipping fanfic, some uh, Kylux fan fiction. You can just print out your own books. Solo book is $32. That sounds about right, I guess. For the hardcover, they said that uh, that book is supposed to have like extended scenes that were not included in the movie. Not that it really would matter. Um, it's just, I'm sure it's boring, probably boring the way the movie was. Uh, very lackluster. Very unfortunate. I'll do a full review at some point, but uh, yeah. But there might not be any Obi-Wan here if it weren't for, for Soylo, for all of Ethan Van Skyver's videos that he did about Soylo. Yeah, because I, I started watching all those, and then I would get in the live streams, and I think that's where that's where uh, I first encountered Obi-Wan, or he first encountered us anyway, and then checked out our channel. I think that's how the story goes, I believe. I haven't been on any live streams for a while, though. I've just been so busy. I don't really jump into them uh, since we're doing stuff with our channel. It's tough to to justify sitting there for like three or four hours sometimes on these other streams. But, um, not that I dislike them. It's just, time's been busy. Busy times lately. New Hope hardcover book, $13. Might get that. Hey. Sawyer. Knock it off. Knock it off. Is your mom a history buff? Obi-Wan, does she do any history? You guys have any good historical figures over there in Australia? Who's like your national hero, if you have one? First one that comes to mind here in the United States, I would say, is George Washington. Hey. Nope. Stop it. Who would you say is like the George Washington of Australia? Washington. Is it yeah. Paul Hogan? Yeah, Paul Hogan. <laughs> what? Is that the, is that the crocodile Dundee? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's not right. Mm. Yeah. Maybe you could get your mom a Paul Hogan biography. She doesn't want that. Why? Maybe she does. She's Australian. Of course she wants it. That's, that's racist. It's not racist. <laughs> I would take a Paul Hogan biography for Christmas. I think that would be good. I knew it. I knew it was idiot brains. 
Oh. Hello. Look what the cat dragged in. Yeah. Uh, just asking uh, Obi Wan if if Paul Hogan is the national hero of Australia, kind of like George Washington it's not is Washington. the. You really just want to get get him over, don't you? Paul Hogan? Yeah. Yeah, well, I want Obi-Wan to buy his mom a Paul Hogan book for Christmas. So buy have, one for your dad, too. They have a figurine, too? Yeah, and maybe a figurine. If you're out and you see a Paul Hogan action figure, that would probably be a welcome uh, gift. Something to hang up in the in the den. Paul Hogan bust. I would just go Paul Hogan themed everything. Wasn't it? Their great military achievement was a horrific defeat. Uh, at, hold on. At Gallipoli in World War I, we were always told about someone called Simpson who rescued lots of wounded soldiers with his mule. Hmm. Well, I think they should make a movie out of that starring Paul Hogan. <laughs> I haven't seen him in a movie probably since Crocodile Dundee. <clears throat> you want to know a fun fact? What? My best friend growing up, Lauren, her dad I always thought looked just like him. Mm -hmm. Just like Paul Hogan. Did you, did you ever meet him? No. Exactly. And I always thought it was the craziest thing because he was like real tan. And the only thing that was, that was different about him was that he always chomped his food. <laughs> he always chewed his food really loud. Hmm. But he looked just like Paul Hogan. And he was real rough like that. And I feel like he could have wrestled some alligators, but he didn't. He just he just cheated on his wife and dated a weird lady and then got hooked on drugs and went to jail later on. But Did he have a big knife? Yeah, I'm sure he probably did. He was in construction, so he probably had a lot of, hmm. a lot of big tools. Hmm. Days. Well, I don't know if being construction worker would necessarily mean you have a big knife. At, at some point, Andrew always has a big knife. And no, not like not like a crocodile Dundee knife. Oh, no, well, I don't know. Old, uh, certain somebody's name who I will not mention sharpens his art pencils with crocodile Dundee knives. Hmm. Remember? Oh, like yeah. Video? You don't have pencil sharpener. <clears throat> this is it. Test Monkey ate at Paul Hogan's restaurant. I didn't know he had a restaurant. Obi Wan, have you ever eaten there at Paul Hogan's restaurant? Does he maybe has a chain of them in Australia? A chain of restaurants. I would eat at Paul Hogan's restaurant. Absolutely. Absolutely. I hope they have alligator on the menu. And a Paul Hogan gift shop. Don't you think they should have a gift shop? Oh, yeah, yeah. Like Rainforest Cafe? Yes. They should do that. Or uh, Margaritaville. They have a gift shop. Yeah. Cracker Barrel. Hooters has a gift shop. They have like a gift stand. Yeah, it's a stand. They don't have a shop. Cracker Barrel has a gift shop. Yes, they do. How do you guys feel about Cracker Barrel in here? Asking the important questions of our viewers. What's your persuasion Andrew on... Andrew thinks it's trash, though. Well. Andrew I, thinks everything's trash. I think. Mm-hmm. Cracker Barrel does good work. I think they have a, they uh, they stock their gift shop with with nice items to go and look at. Lots of baubles. I forgot about the baubles. Lots of baubles to look at. Nearest Cracker Barrel is too far away for Nicole. Well, maybe you can make a, a sort of uh, a day trip out of it sometime. You know, plan a day around Cracker Barrel. Set aside maybe an extra hundred bucks. 
not to use on food, but so you can pick up some items, so you can pick up a few uh, trinkets in the gift shop. <clears throat> Bob Evans. Bob Evans is the worst. Bob Evans is a joke. Oh, no. Maybe they're good in other places. Compared to Cracker Barrel, Bob Evans is an absolute joke. <laughs> they don't even know how to make eggs at Bob Evans. Well, that could just be Lebanon. It's every single one that I go to. Well, we live in a weird place. There has to be a good Bob Evans out there. Every Bob Evans around here just, it's, it's absurd how bad their eggs are. Their eggs, their eggs are not even as good as the ones you get in a McDonald's big breakfast. Mm -hmm. And that's like liquid egg mm -hmm. product. You want to know a funny story about Bob Evans? I went there once. And you know how I always used to get the crepes? I went once and I ordered the crepes and they, they brought them to me. And you know how there's like a cream cheese filling on the inside? That was like frozen. Mm. And the crepes were like like runny. They're supposed to be like almost like a thin pancake or like mm. they have like an omelet consistency. But they were like runny and doughy in the middle. And I took a bite and I was like, oh, this is, this is awful. So I, I never send my food back, but the waitress came over and I was like, can I get... Like different crepes, these ones are not cooked right. And she's like, what do you mean? And I was like, well, it's like doughy and the stuff is frozen. She's like, yeah, that's how it's supposed to be. <laughs> I was like, no, I've had, I've had these here before. And she's like, no, you must have had something different. And I was like, but it's frozen. She's like, you must have never had crepes before. And I was like, I have crepes. This is just garbage mm. food. And then, she, yeah, that was it. And I just had to eat the frozen crepes. Hmm. I never went back there. And I didn't understand why they Obi-Wan said Christmas shopping done. He, Ooh, that was quick. He bought them the chocolate tin by Fiona McIntosh, a New Hope hardcover, and Inferno by Dan Brown. Oh. And Nicole uh, added in that she likes Country Kitchen. Oh, yeah. That can't be the same one. No, I'd imagine it's a different Country Kitchen. <laughs> We have one by us too, but it's different. Sure. And Obi Wan also bought the German Girl by Armando Lucas Correa. Ooh. Obi Wan, did you get any any fancy stuff for Katrina for Christmas? Test Monkey is who Greek? He can't, he probably can't say if he got something for Katrina in case she, she uh, happens. She never hops on. Well, I don't know if she ever. Well, it'd be a bad. Well, yeah. It'd be a bad move, you know? Okay, well. Unless he knows for sure she's not going to hear this, then by all means. Oh. Uh, <clears throat> no, Test Monkey wanted to know if you're Greek, Jess. No, I'm just, I'm boring. <laughs> well, you just got your DNA results back recently. I didn't get mine. Well, your, My brother, got your brother did, so. I think uh, primarily, what was it? Northern European or something. I think that was the most of it. I got some, mine. Some Irish, some Swedish. I think that was that was most of it. A little bit of French. Mostly Northern European though. I was mostly Irish, Scottish, and German hmm. in mine. <clears throat> uh she what Test Monkey said you tell a story Sorry, I do. <laughs> Greek. I do. I talk really fast and I get too carried away. Just call me James. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and Abel, by Dil Abel by Dylan Alcott, who is a Triple J presenter, who is the number one wheelchair tennis player in the world. Ooh. And he got Kat the latest Spyro and some jewelry. Oh, she won't nice. watch this. Okay. Good. Why don't you watch a little super divorce? <laughs> well, you know why you don't want to watch this one because uh, she doesn't want her Christmas spoilt. No, that would be terrible. Uh. <clears throat> I've never heard the saying, you tell a story like a Greek. Does that mean I'm James? I don't well, know. Well, I spend most of my time around um, people that I don't talk to and then small children, so I don't get to mingle with the adults too often. Nicole said uh, that she has a tad of Cherokee, German, French, Irish, and Scottish. Oh. 
I was always told that uh, that I had um, Blackfoot Indian, and it turns out from my test results that I have no Native American blood at all. You're a poser. Unless the test was wrong. Obi Wan said, "Obviously, you speak like a wog." What the hell is a wog? A wog. What's a wog? Test Somali. Uh, test Somali. <laughs> test monkey is Somali. I don't want to. What's a wog? What is? Arg me hearty. Somebody help me! <laughs> is everybody making fun of me now? Heinz fifty seven. Lol. I'm never coming back. See you guys later. Test monkey said, "Lol." Test Somali. What's the Heinz 57 about? Probably something making fun of me. Why do you think it's making fun of you? <laughs> I'm Somali. Arg me hearty. Heinz 57. Lol. That'd be a good song. <laughs> <laughs> no, me. Uh... Oh, Heinz 57, I think Nicole was saying because she's uh, a mix of various flavors and, oh, and such. I've never eaten Heinz 57. Heinz 57. I just know it from the Jimmy Buffett song. And yeah. We used to carry it at the restaurant I worked at when I was young. I. Well, Jesus, when was that? Obi-Wan's like, I brought up Wogs before in the stream called Good Brothers Gaming in which you played Super Mario Land. Keep up, Nick. Jeez. What was that, like five months ago? <clears throat> when you brought up Wog one time? Test Monkey is a pirate. Ooh. Just like, uh, just like Edward Kenway from Assassin's Creed. Super Mario World, sorry. Yeah, why don't you keep up, Obi-Wan? If you're going to call people out, you need to get the facts straight. Fake news, Obi-Wan. <clears throat> Shiver me timbers, Nicole says. Shiver me timbers. Who's your favorite pirate, Jess? What do you think of, what do you think of One-Eyed Willie from the Goonies? That's a good choice. I don't really have a lot of... Uh... No, he wasn't a he wasn't a Somali pirate. He was just a pirate. He was just a he was just a white pirate. That'd be a good gamer tag. What, throw white some num pirate? throw some numbers behind it. White pirate. Seventeen seventy six. What do you think? Good gamer tag. Bean. Quick bean. I said could be. Oh. Okay, so you're gonna refresh me on what a wog is, since I can't remember. A wog is something like Greek, Italian, Turkish, or Lebanese. Well, uh, we do live in Lebanon, so I guess she is a wog. We decided it's offensive in the UK, but not in Australia. What is what does it stand? I'm guessing it stands for something. Is it like POC, like person of color? Who wants to be called a wog? No one. I, he. I don't well, think they want to be. They've decided okay. that it's offensive in the UK, but apparently it's not in Australia. So you're still allowed to call people wogs in Australia, but apparently not in the United Kingdom. A woman of what? Is that what it stands for? Woman of something? Test Monkey says, don't get me started on the Turks. On the Young Turks? Um, yeah, I'm still, I'm just trying to figure out what, where the W-O-G comes from.
What does W-O-G stand for, Obi-Wan? Can you tell me that? Can you give me an explanation? Woman of Guller. Guller. Is that what it is? Bullwog. Andrew, you know? No. I don't know what a... I don't, I don't Mr. Know. Non-Participation. Fool. Woman of... of uh, woman of Greek. Are you a woman of Greek? Skull and Bones is going to be a great game. Hope it's an open world pirate game. Isn't there one that's uh, Sea of Thieves? Google says Origin Unknown on WOG. It's just a name that people say. They don't know where it comes from. It's just WOG. Polywog. Polywag. Illuminati. You want to try some pancake whiskey? What? Illuminati. It will be open world. Just hope it is cool. I need to get caught up on the Assassin's Creed series for real. Assassin's Creed Black Flag is one of my favorite games I've ever played. Even though it's not, there's really not a whole lot about it that, that makes it feel like you're even playing an Assassin's <laughs> Creed game. It's just a lot of fun. It's very sweet. Be careful. It's very much fun. It's like the coffee liqueur already. <laughs> <laughs> having PTSD. Oh, that is sweet. That's a sweet whiskey. It is. It's just like drinking syrup. It's like maple. Yeah. I said you could just pour that on a pancake. Well, it's very It would be thick. fine. That's very, very thick. There you go. question for you guys. Mm. Since you guys won't be here Christmas Day, a bunch of Christmas presents right now, unwrapped. We won't be here Christmas Day. I won't be. Oh, that's sad. Well, maybe later. What, on the stream? Mm hmm What kind of Christmas presents? Well, that's... <laughs> They're unwrapped. Bring them in. Good Brother Andrew wants to give us Christmas gifts. But I haven't even been good. <clears throat> that's if you, true. If you want to, yeah, if you want to present Christmas gifts live on the air, that's fine. Ooh, they want to, Test Monkey said he was hoping he was going to ask who wanted to put the Ouija board. Oh. Haven't you ever seen the Exorcist, Test Monkey? Uh, Ouija boards, those aren't toys. No. I used to play with Ouija boards when I was little. When you were little? Yeah, because there was a whole rumor that my house was super haunted. On the whole, the whole neighborhood knew about it. We mm -hmm. called all of our friends, and then I found out when I was older that that was all a lie, and I felt bad for perpetuating <laughs> the myth. Hmm. <laughs> Nicole no. says, leave that thing alone. We don't have a Ouija board. No. Uh, what is this? You're a tadpole when you cross the inner... Internal dateline in the Navy, they have something they do. I don't know what that was in response to. Obi-Wan is just chilling next to an elderly couple. Uh, CBF going back out into the heat. CBF. Uh, uh, it's some sort of Australian abbreviation. Contemplating. Barely. Going back out into the heat. <laughs> uh, I don't know if that's it. <laughs> do I got salt? You do. Throw it over your shoulder. Maybe that's what he's referring to. Who? Test monkey. Yeah, can't, you have salt. Obi Wan says can't be. F oh, can't. <laughs> you can't say it. Oh, okay. I didn't. I didn't. I you can't say the f word on the stream. Or else our channel will get taken down. You can't cuss on YouTube That's a big anymore. Phrase. I haven't heard that one. Can't, can't be. Hold on. F going back into the heat. Can't be. Going back. Can't be. Yeah. Yeah. That's good. I like that. Can't be. I get it. Okay. I get it. Makes enough sense. You only 
You want to be able to see the gifts because those Ticos steal the show. Well, I'll zoom out. Okay. It's not like my camera is stuck here what forever. Her? Oh, that's not a real action figure. Oh, I thought I thought there was an action figure there the whole time. You boob. <laughs> I was going to put a candy on her, but that's not good anymore. My wife's a boob. Yes, she thought this was really Rose Tico. Here's my first gift. Okay. For Nick. The first gift. Unwrapped. The first gift of Christmas. Oh, look at that. Hey, there is we were an just, figure. I can't put a chocolate on her head. We were just, we were just zeroed in on Rose Tico. And we can replace her with another Rose Tico. Look at that. We couldn't have, you couldn't have planned that any better. Well, thank you. That's, that's just, just. A second gift for Nick. <laughs> to live out all of his fantasies. Oh, I don't know if I like the sound of that. Oh, yay. <laughs> Look. Look what we've got, guys. This is from, uh, this is, um, Test Monkey, I think, is a big fan of this scene, just like I am. You can, uh, you can have them milk, drink all the milk. You can have her... The green milk? Yeah, they could drink the green milk there in Luke's hut where he's a hermit. Yeah. And he hates himself. And the world, and he doesn't want to train Ray and... Uh... Milk? Yes. Not that. Oh. <laughs> no. <laughs> like, well, there are some things in here. EVS has already done, what, put this together? Burn it to be safe. <laughs> <laughs> Did he put the whole thing together on his stream? I don't know if he... I, I feel like I would have seen that. But that's okay. We can do it too. It's not like, e, it's not like EVS is the only one who can have fun. <laughs> what if he was? <laughs> that would be sad. Uh, here we go. What do you think of this porg? He fast. What part did he do that? He fast forward. Well, we won't fast forward. We don't fast forward through the construction the question here. Question is, do you think that Rose could go there to recuperate from her H1N1? Oh, that's a good idea. Maybe, maybe that's what'll have to happen. They'll have to some hospice care on Octo. Someone, maybe, maybe Chaz Beer Pongo can at the very least get her on a ship and fly her to Luke's secret hideout. No, you got to uh, seal the board. Burning is not a good idea. No, Nicole, I think he was talking about this. I think he was talking about burning this Lego set, not the Ouija board. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you can't burn a Ouija board. Is that a rule? I've never heard that before. Well, thank you very much for this lovely present. Also, I'm going to have it for Jazz, but it's a little bit more practical than that. Oh, you didn't have to give me anything. All I got you is a stupid ass tablet that doesn't work. Uh, I got him a grandpa tablet. <laughs> for meal prep. Oh. Wait, I think I've seen these before. Inside so some little boxes. Yes, I've seen. I almost bought myself one of these. Look at this. It's a like thermos? A, no, it's like a nesting doll, but for snacks. It's like a bento box. So you've got... Wait, is that one? No. Here, you can't see. Look. I can't see it. Oh, oh wait, wait, wait. Here. Here, just scoot it over into Can this. Can I undo it? Because I need to paint my fingernails. <laughs> So there's like a, what goes in there? Is that just the lid? This is the lid. And I think this is a, it just a cooler. It. Just seals oh. the deal. Okay. And then it's got one container and uh, another container. Is there anything else there? No, but. That's good, because I need to, I need to whip myself back into shape here, so. Well, it keeps it hot all day. Does it? Could you also just cold. could you also just Hot. pour a drink in there if you wanted to? Yeah, if you wanted to, and just fill up the beer, I guess. Hot for ten hours or cold for twenty. Obi Wan says use the lid as a cup. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. That's what people do, like soup and stuff. Mm-hmm. There you go. Well, I hey, wanted to address. Thank you. It's very yeah. nice. Well, I'm trying to think, you guys 
you know, what do you get the people who have everything they ever needed? Well. Except for knowing how to thread things on. Hey, hey, you be nice. <laughs> Obi-Wan says this is inaccurate because um, Luke has on his Jedi robes. Thank you, Andrew. That's perfect. I don't think you care the cold beat thing, do you, Obi-Wan is calling into question the, uh, his, the historical accuracy of this Luke Skywalker. Well, he's got robes on. They're just not the Jedi robes. But those are like gray and that. No, this, th these are white. Those are like oh. pure white. Perfect color representation. They're not brown. Hmm. Uh, well, Ray, Ray's got some gray on, so it's not like they couldn't do it. Test monkey Look at the porg. Good <laughs> What do you think, Andrew? What? Bong. Bong? Mm -hmm. I'm sure it would. <laughs> <laughs> Let me get my welder out. Mm. Do you get a fancy haircut, Andrew? Uh, you look different than the last time I saw you a few hours ago. Oh, I think he's, I think he's clean shaven. He just went to the fancy hair room and came back out. Did you go to the men's? What is it called? A place for men? Or the men's place? No. Why not? That place looks badass. I'd go there if I. Where? Down the corner. Oh, oh, by the train station. Yeah. Oh yeah. A man's place, I think, is the name of it. Surprised that place hasn't been shut down. Obi Wan was going to shave his beard. Oh, that's crazy. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't. Would that make a fun stream? Yes. No, that'd be a sad stream. Don't oh. shave your beard. There's a crying babe. Never shave your beard. That'd be awful. You're Obi Wan. You cannot shave your beard. Please don't shave your beard, Obi Wan. That's. I think I'll have to unsub. I will dislike that video and I will unsub if you shave your beard. Especially if you do it on a stream. That would be a sad, sad stream. No one wants to see that. I don't think any of your viewers want to see you shave and uh, destroy your mystique. It would probably cut you off from the force too. Bogarts is still open in Cincy, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, we were just there. Just went and saw uh, Thrice at Bogarts just about a month ago. Obi Wan says he always does after the last day of work because of the oppressive heat, and it'll grow back bit by bit uh, by the time work starts again. Well, you know. I guess only you knew you know how long it takes your beard to come back in and uh you know guy like me my beard doesn't grow very quickly so that's that thought just it startles me um it's it's scary I don't like the thought of it but if you in, but if you intend to grow it back then why shave it at all you know what what's the what's the point why would you do it why would you shave it if you're just going to immediately grow it back again? I can't comprehend. I don't know um, what exactly the point would be. Test Monkey saw some great shows there in the early 90s at Bogars. Um, who'd you see there in the early 90s? Obi-Wan says he could not grow his beard as long as mine. He always trims it every two weeks. This could use a trim. No. It, I mean, it's got. It could use a little shaping. That's not the idea. Well, I know. The idea is to grow it real long, Jess. Well, I know, but they tell you if you trim the dead ends, it grows faster. No, it doesn't. Does <laughs> <laughs> Don't try to trick him. But either way, Obi Wan, I rock like a six-inch beard in the summer when it's 110 degrees out. I used to work in a manufacturing facility that hit 120 degrees Fahrenheit with like a 10 inch beard. Obi Wan probably doesn't know what that means. What Fahrenheit? Yeah, he uses Celsius. We were yeah. just we were just talking about this earlier. He probably knows. He probably knows better than we do. Why would you assume that? We're stupid Americans. Yeah. 
So Obi-Wan says he wants to be clean shaven during the hottest part of the year. Well, I can't blame him. Every time in the summer I think about chopping all my hair off. I never think about that. I don't know why. It's just like, well, I'm sweaty. Then I'll get somewhere where I'm not hot anymore. It, it, it's a temporary discomfort. <laughs> What's the point? It's tied up. Tied up. This might be the end of the line for old Jeff's. 100 Fahrenheit equals 37 Celsius. <sighs> so, um, Screaming Trees, Grunt Truck, Alice in Chains, Afghan Wigs, a few others. All right. Uh, from that era. I don't know how you feel about Henry Rollins. I got to see the Rollins band on their last tour in 2006 at Bogarts. That was one of the best shows I've ever been to. That was, uh, that I was really lucky to catch them on that tour because he probably will never tour and play music again for some reason. He just doesn't, he's not interested anymore. And that's a bummer. Oh, what's up? Holly Jerm's here. Hallmark Channel Jeremy is here. Hello. My wife has just uh, come back down with Emerson. What are you doing, dude? It's too late. It's too late for babies. He wants milk, I think. It's too late for babies. What are you doing? What are you doing? Look at this... Look at this baby. <laughs> what are you doing? It's too late for you to be on the stream. What are you doing? Get out of here. <laughs> uh, He's happy to be on the stream. But... He should be asleep. He should be asleep, but I'm going to make him some damn milk. <sighs> Obi-Wan said, stop exploiting that child. <laughs> just going to turn this into a one of those channels where they just show their kids constantly. Like that one douchey guy? Oh, yeah. You ever see some of these channels where they just, uh, they have their kids doing videos constantly? I don't like that. Uh, a lot of these kids are little shits, too. Sh shuts. I didn't mean to say that. I can't cuss. You can't cuss on YouTube. I've got to. Oh, for him. I have to remember that. Oh. I have to remember that. I can't curse anymore on YouTube because we're trying to get monetized someday, and I don't want them to go back and say, ah ah ah, mm mm mm. We are deactivating your channel because you said the S H word that one time back on uh, December twenty second. 2018, so uh, so your channel is being deactivated because you said a, a poo poo word. Did I see that channel the little boy on his deathbed created? No, that sounds awful though. Um, make a laughing baby video with him. <laughs> PewDiePie talked about what the. The channel that the little boy on his deathbed created? Thank you. Oh God, don't drop it. Yeah, I haven't watched that. I don't know anything about it. What was the deal? Is it something that he wanted to do or is it something that he was like forced into? Nicole just subbed to PewDiePie. I like Pewds. I uh, used, to, used to hate him. Couldn't stand him when he first came on, but I've I've come to enjoy his content quite a bit over the years. <clears throat> Oddly enough, uh, I think that uh, once he started doing a little more political stuff and, and social commentary, and like that. Hey, nope. Sorry. Oh, I thought you were snapping at me. No, snapping at the cat eating the dog food. Uh, 
W as in Y. What? I don't know what's going on. What was the new calendar item? Oh, you want to see? Uh, here, I'll show you real quick. Day 21 was uh, some sort of speeder. I said that it looked like it looked like a speeder that hold on he was in hospital for the last few weeks of his life he was singing some songs and stuff certainly was very sad his last wish was that his parents continue the channel I was like okay well that's not that's not controversial I you know yeah can't talk shit about that um Talk crap about it. Sorry, shouldn't have said that. Oh, now you've done it. What are you gonna do? So this is like this little speeder, and then it came. None of the other things have come with a stand, but this came with a stand. So I, I reasoned that maybe it's actually like a, a fuel intake, of some sort. I don't know, but if you take that off, it's like a speeder, and then it's also like a GoBot, Star Wars GoBot, because then you can just, if you ever played with GoBot toys. They were like transformers, but they usually only like, they had arms that would move. You would just bring the arms down and it's like, oh look, now it's transformed into a, into a robot. See, now it's a guy. And he's like, you know, no, oh, see, but it doesn't stay together so well. What's this horrible depressing story of yours? See, and then you bring the arms back up and then it's a speeder again. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. So that was day 21. Oh, right back in there. There you go. And we'll do a live build of this soon. That'll be fun. And it will not be fast forwarded. That'll set us apart from the one that Ethan Van Skyver did because Obi-Wan said EVS built this on his channel. But what we'll do is we'll just do a live stream and I'll build this the way that I've been building the, um, the advent calendar stuff. And that should be fun. Uh, speeder bike, yeah. Transform and roll out. Well, that's what they wish they could say. That's what GoBots wish they could do. Um, always the, the sort of uh, lesser of the transforming robots, those darn GoBots. I don't know if anyone here was a fan of the GoBots, but I had a few GoBots toys. Like I said, they were um, definitely not up to snuff when it came to quality of transformation, uh, comparing those to Transformers. So maybe I'll get some GoBots toys and uh, feature those on this channel sometime. We can really do whatever we want to. That's the good thing about this channel. It's like the internet's, it's like YouTube's junk drawer. You never know what you're going to get around here. What, on the Super Divorce channel? Yeah. Paul? Yeah. It's, but there's always useful stuff in the junk drawer. I know, that's what I'm saying. It's only a junk, there's, it's only junk in name. Junk items sometimes. Yeah, but for the most part. It's like you go to your junk drawer when you need this or that thing, and it's like, yeah, this is all stuff that you need. You just don't know you need it until you until you happen upon it. That's, That's how it true. works. Yeah. So, sweet sentiment. We can do whatever we want. We can build Legos. Um, we can build Legos. We can play video games. We can review pop culture. We can talk about Star Wars. <laughs> we could talk about. Uh, Nicole we, says. Oh, junk in the trunk, Hallmark Channel, Jeremy says. Oh, most people like to see junk in the trunk, right? Not in the literal trunk, though, of your car. No. You want to keep that clean if possible. Ours has quite a bit of junk in it. Otherwise, you get out to, um, you get out to the grocery you get all the groceries back to your car. You open up the, the trunk and there's too much junk in it yes, this to has put been, the groceries away. This has been my experience the last few times I've gone in quite the battle getting all the groceries into the car. 
Trek Wars. Yeah. You don't want to have Trek Wars. But yeah, we need to uh, we need to do some games soon. Feel like doing some games. Would this be included on ASMR? If I put him really close to the mic. Just a baby drinking milk. Yeah. That'd be a really disgusting one to feature. It's not worse than the lady eating honeycomb and crunching on bones. No, it is worse when you imagine that that people treat those videos like porn. Oh, I didn't. You keep saying that. I thought it was just supposed to relax you. I thought it was like. Anxiety That's what they say. say. Okay, That's what they yeah, say. <laughs> Get Evolve. Should I do a live stream? Got Evolve. Should I do a live stream on it? Yeah, I'd, um, I think that would be fun. I've always... I've been kind of interested in that game, but I've never played it. I can just see the, the edge of baby's head. Do you want me to move him? <laughs> There's just. I don't see him. You see him now? No. Oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Actually, I don't need to move him. I guess I like There, I'll just I'll scoot over a little bit. That's fine. Okay. <sighs> Are you doing a stream on Christmas? Yeah, because I have to I have to put together whatever I'm going to make out of all the extra pieces from the advent calendar. I've been collecting the extra pieces in a plastic baggie. So oh. I'm going to put them together into a new construction. Does it tell you what you're supposed to make or you just create no. your own? No, I'm just creating my own. Oh. <clears throat> yeah. Hmm. Interesting. Mm-hmm. So, I also still have a lot that I need to do. Baby wants more camera time. <laughs> he thinks everything's funny. Away, like spittle, just a <laughs> bleh. that might be good for a, a new intro. Yeah, yeah, use that on an intro video. <clears throat> Very sweaty. Hmm. Well, I think I need to get going here, and uh, I've got some things to do in my office. I gotta still wrap some presents. Hallmark Channel Jeremy called you a bad mommy because oh, no, you took away the milk when he was eating. Oh. No, he. I am a bad mom. He doesn't. Like, oh. Yeah. He does his fair share of yelling at me. So. I know. You don't have to tell me twice. I already know. Well, everyone, um, thanks for hanging out tonight. Thank you, guys. It's a fun little stream here, and. Um, I'll make a better beverage next time. You can look forward to that. Yeah, please look forward to a different beverage tomorrow night. And day number 22 of the Advent Calendar Big Reveal. And um, maybe if we're going to stick around for a while tomorrow, I'll just go ahead and, and do this on the stream as well. Maybe, maybe, maybe. We'll see. Um, but, yeah. Uh, Obi-Wan, congratulations on getting all of your shopping done. Yeah, good job. And the sweaty heat nonetheless. Yeah, yeah. Merry Christmas to you, Nicole. Merry Christmas. And uh, hopefully we see you again before Christmas time. Jeremy, thank you. And um, yeah, everyone. Good uh, where's hold on? Where where's uh, where'd he go? I haven't seen him in a bit. Test monkey, if you're still here, thanks for hanging out with us. Hopefully we see you again. Um, and all of our friends here. Anyone watching later. Please, uh, if you have not done so, bong the gong for notifications so you know when we go live so you can join us live and, and get in with us on one of these fun little chats where we just like to hang out and have a good time. Just just a bunch of friends hanging out, having a good, good damn time. All right, everyone. Merry Christmas. 
Take real good care, and we will uh, talk to you soon. Bye-bye.